Now that you have a basic understanding of energy, let's hear about some innovative propulsion technologies that NASA is developing for future space exploration. And don't forget, you are the future explorers. Thanks, Jennifer. Space is big. Distances to Mars and beyond are so large that when using today's spacecraft technology, we can only send relatively small spacecraft. In other words, distance affects the mass that we can send. NASA is working on a new way of powering space vehicles that will enable us to send more complex spacecraft to Mars, Jupiter and beyond and may even shorten the travel time. The new program is called Prometheus. It will provide a giant leap in our ability to explore our solar system. The program focuses on using nuclear power in long distance spacecraft. The nuclear power system will create electricity that will be used for two things. One job will be to propel the spacecraft. The other will be to provide power for the instruments on board. This capability will let NASA send spacecraft to places that we currently want to reach. It would also allow us to do more scientific work when the spacecraft reaches its destination and could even help speed up travel through the solar system. Many space missions have used nuclear power. The farthest known man-made object is the nuclear-powered spacecraft called Voyager 1. This probe has been used for over 26 years. It is now over 8 billion miles away. That's more than twice the distance from the Sun to Pluto. Remember, earlier in the program, Jennifer asked you to list some forms of energy? On my list, I have mechanical energy, thermal energy, chemical energy, electromagnetic energy, and nuclear energy. Project Prometheus will be using nuclear energy to help power the spacecraft. Nuclear energy is the energy stored in the nucleus of an atom. In a nuclear reaction, a tiny portion of an atom's mass is turned into energy. Scientists are studying two different ways of using the energy stored within the nucleus of an atom. The first approach is to take an atom that is naturally very unstable, which means that the atom wants to change into a different, more stable atom. During this change, the atom releases tiny particles causing the material to heat up. This process is known as radioactive decay. The released particles are called radiation. The heat that is released can be harnessed and converted to electrical energy. This energy can then be used to power the spacecraft systems. It is called radioisotope decay. The second approach is to break apart the nucleus of the atom to release even more energy than radioactive decay. This process is called nuclear fission. It is used in nuclear power plants all around the world to produce electricity. Nuclear fission systems can generate large amounts of power. Think of this comparison. A radioisotope power system could create enough power to light a few light bulbs. A nuclear fission power system could create enough energy to power a laundromat. This increased amount of energy means that a nuclear fission energy system could do more than just power a spacecraft scientific instruments. It could also be used to run the engines that propel the rocket. NASA hopes to use this technology soon. In fact, it's already working on the first probe to use this technology. This probe is the Prometheus 1 mission. This mission will use a nuclear fission system. This system would provide energy for both spacecraft electrical power and propulsion. Prometheus 1 would orbit three of the larger moons of Jupiter, Callisto, Ganymede and Europa. Europa is one of our solar system's most fascinating celestial bodies. Europa's surface is completely covered in ice, but scientists believe that the solar system's largest oceans could be hidden under that ice. If oceans are indeed present, there is a possibility that life could be found there. The Prometheus 1 mission will be finding answers to the mysteries of these moons. One day, the same power and propulsion systems used on Prometheus 1 could be used to send probes to other far-off places. These systems will even be used to support human missions to explore the solar system and beyond. Back to you, Jennifer.